Ray Minkowski, welcome to my kitchen. It's cold and flu season, like it is every year, with an added bonus of coronavirus coming out of what looks like China. So, a number of people have asked, like, what do we do at our house? What should I do? What can I do to boost my immune system? So, we're going to take a look at simple things that all of us should be doing on a regular basis, and in some of this, you have to be disciplined enough to be consistent. Can't one and done, it doesn't work that way. Um, one, wash your hands, right? That's, that's an easy, that's a gimme. Two, don't touch your eyes, your ears, your nose, and your mouth. So if you do touch something, you don't wanna go and put it in your mouth, your eyes, your ears, your nose, etc. So wash your hands, be aware of where you put your hands, then let's take a look at, you know, every household has got it, we have it too. We've got bleach wipes, we've got Lysol spray. These things work, but remember, you have to wipe, if you're using the wipes, say your, your counter or whatever it might be, and then let the solution that's in the wipe dry on its own. If you go and dry it with a paper towel or a towel, it's not gonna kill everything. Same thing with the Lysol spray. You gotta spray it and leave it. The next thing is supplements. What can I do to boost my immune system? Uh, no brainer, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's a quality vitamin C product. I like the Ultra C by, vitamin uh, by Beverly International. The reason for that is it's vitamin C and vitamin A. It's believed that both of them can play a role in fighting viral infections and boosting immune systems. In addition, the Ultra C is, is somewhat time released. So you don't get, consume the vitamin C, have it into your system and out of your system. Uh, I typically take a couple Ultra C tablets throughout the day. And with vitamin C, it's water soluble. Your body's gonna take what it needs. What it doesn't need, it's just gonna safely pass when you use the restroom, okay? Another supplement, ZMA. ZMA is zinc, magnesium, aspartate. Zinc plays a role in healthy immune system function, so that's a no-brainer. The other thing that I like about zinc, if you're male in middle age, zinc plays a role in the production of testosterone. Women, it's not gonna make you produce testosterone. It doesn't work that way. Uh, but for guys, there's a potential benefit there. For men and women, it's gonna help you get, this is something I take three of before bed. Uh, it's something that's going to help you get into a deeper, more restful, sleep. And again, we're looking at fighting cold and flu that time of year. Who can't benefit? Who won't benefit from better quality of sleep? So I like the ZMA. Um, Carlson's fish oil. Fish oil is cardiovascular, healthy. It's good for the heart. And anything that ends in itis, itis is Latin for inflammation. So arthritis, joint issues, things like that, the omega-3 fats that are found in fatty fish and their constituent parts, EPA and DHA, are anti-inflammatory. So this is something I take every day, day in and day out throughout the year for both cardiovascular heart health from an inflammation standpoint and it can play a role, fish oil that is, in raising the good cholesterol, lowering the bad, in lowering your total cholesterol. So it's not necessarily something that boosts immune system, but again, it, it potentially, the omega-3 fats in here are going to play a role in helping with inflammation. Again, it's not a bad thing, and if there's a benefit for immune system, I'll take it. The other thing this time of year, I like carbonated water. I'm a big fan of the carbonated waters. Most of them are calorie free. Some of them do have so, uh, a little bit of sodium. This particular product is from Costco. I think it's the Kirkland Costco house brand. I'll take that. Sambuca, if you've heard of elderberry extract, plays a role in fighting infection, uh, may play a role in boosting immune system. Again, there's no harm, no foul. There's not anything that can go wrong by taking it. I like a little bit of the elderberry extract. The Sambuco brand, which is the brand I'm holding in my hand, at least from their marketing, they appear to be the only or one of the only brands that's been shown in research or clinical research to have a positive effect on viral or bacterial infections. 
So it's on their literature. I can't say for sure that it's true, but there is a belief that elderberry extract works. It will help your immune system. So no harm, no foul, why not? The other thing is tart cherry extract, anti-inflammatory, good for cardiovascular health, for inflammation reasons, good for the joints, arthritis, things of that nature. Again, if we look at anything that ends in itis, including disease and illness, arthritis, bronchitis, tonsillitis, things like that. If this helps with inflammation, you can't go wrong. So a little bit of that in there. I mix it up and I'm done. Um, typically my Carlson's, it is fish oil. I thought the first time I bought this, it would smell, it would stink, it would taste terrible like great grandma's cod liver oil. Uh, it's got a, a hint of natural lemon flavor. You don't even notice the fish taste, but normally I'll put some of this on my spoon. I do one to two tablespoons a day. I'll mix up my Sambuca and my tart cherry and away you go. So there you have it. Things you can do around your house, cold, flu season, it, any time of year if you want, um, especially when we're looking at something like the coronavirus or whatever, nothing here is going to hurt and it just may help you and help you and your family stay healthier through this time of year. Uh, thanks for checking us out. If you're watching this on YouTube, kindly subscribe to our channel. That way, when we do health, wealth,